Welcome to another tutorial. This one is on a Power Glide transmission, two speed, made by GM. Uh, today we're going to tear this thing apart, show you the disassembly procedure. Now, this is one that I just use in my classroom. It's uh, non functional, it's been torn apart probably 150 times, so it's not going to be dyno, it's not going to run. So, we're going to start by moving the tail, hash, tail housing, and you're going to notice that I don't have very many bolts in this, because, like I said, it's a uh, just a demonstration model. So here's your tail housing. Now you have your governor down here and there's a pin that goes through the governor that you have to remove and this one's actually missing the pin. So you pull your governor off and then here's your rear oil pump. So switch sockets, get on the rear oil pump and then that'll pull apart. On this side is the band. This is actually holds your band tight. You're going to back that out. And I'll pop over to this side and pull the servo off. There's a servo cover. And I'll pop the servo out after I get the valve body out. I'm going to put this transmission up. So here's your valve body, and you can see here you got a spring that holds up this uh, this piece, which is actually what gives you your detent, gives you your part detent. And so when you actually shift this, it it'll hold it into the gear itself. It also is pushed into this manual valve, so to move your manual valve in and out, your manual valve actually gives you um, a hydraulic circuit, so it'll either be in the drive or it'll be in the low or reverse. And this is what actually uh, directs the fluid to tell you which gear it's going to be in. And then you also have this valve down here which is your throttle valve which gives you your downshift. So I'm going to zap these bolts out. And like I said there's only a couple bolts in this one because it is actually non-functional. When you get that you can pull this valve body out. Now it comes in two pieces. We're just going to leave it in one for now. If you're in my class you are going to take this apart and split it. So now you can see here's the parking pole right here and it's got a spring underneath of it and as you as you turn this it actually locks this down into place. So we're going to take this out. So there's that piece. Here's your spring which the long piece goes through the pole like this and then it sits on this knob right there. And then this is your actual parking pole. So you need to remove the parking pole. Shaft should come out hard enough to get the pole out. So here's your parking pole. That's the only thing that gives you park. If this thing breaks or if it breaks off in the case, hopefully your parking brake's set because you're going to go down the hill. So the band's loose now. Take out one of the bridges and I can push my servo out. Now your servo is actually a piston. So this is a piston that when it gets fluid pressure behind it, it will actually apply this band right here. Now we're going to take the pump out. towards the camera. 
and you're going to use these slide hammers. Now you can put one on each side and that'll work out really well. Um, so you can hit them together or you can just pop one on. And once it starts to come, then you can do the other side. So here is your oil pump, your front oil pump. Now most of these power glides, or a lot of them, have the rear oil pump. So you'll have to do them to, to rebuild. And if you're in my class, you will take this apart as well. So everything that you take out of here is going to be completely disassembled. Here's your input shaft. Now your band's loose. So we're going to take out your high clutch valve. Here's your high clutch pack, which I'll disassemble in a second. And now your gear train should come out after your band. Here's your band. Part of the strut. The other part fell down in there. There we go. Get the planetary out. So here's your planetary gear set. It's a Ravenous gear set. Um, not typical with what the newer transmissions run. Most of them run the Simpson. The other parts of the planetary is your ring. Got out the other piece for the band. And then all that's left is there's a snap ring down in here. Once you get that lifted a little bit, just get a standard in there, turn it, and then once you can get it lifted out just a little bit, curl it in and it'll pop out really easy, just like that. Now you can remove your reverse clutch pack. So you have your steels, this is a steel, this is a clutch disc, they alternate and then the top is your pressure plate. That'll sit there. Lastly, you're going to have to compress this piston. There's a piston down in here for your reverse. And you're going to have to compress this retainer down, take the snap ring out, and pop that piston out. Here's your band. This is one of the struts on one side. It's a strut on the other side. And then we have our servo, which is on this side of the band so this is actually what applies it on this side is that screw that we had right over here that uh that will thread in to a, put some tension on it so that's your adjuster now for the high clutch pack might need a different screwdriver for this Alright, so for the high clutch pack, I'm going to get in here with a smaller screwdriver. Get it to pop off. Take that plate off. Take the hub out. And then, just like the other one, you have steels and you have clutch discs that alternate. And lastly, on this one, you're going to take this piston out around here by putting a puller on here, pushing this retainer down, taking the snap ring out. So there's several different types of pullers. This is the type of puller that I like to use. You take this off here. This is somewhat homemade. You're going to push this onto there and you want to push on kind of the inner part of that brass piece. This will slip on the back. And then you'll tighten it down and it'll compress it. Turn 
snap ring by to get it off. That's pretty much the disassembly procedure. From here, you're gonna you take the pistons out, like I said, you'll take the valve body apart, you'll take the pump apart, and then we're gonna label all the parts on this, um, what their function are, and then put it back together.